Greetings and salutations and happy Sunday fam. Uh, welcome to another episode of Sunday Gratitude with me, E. In case you're new here, Sunday Gratitude is the uplifted and amplified version of uh, my daily gratitude, something I've been doing for four years now, uh, something that has helped me uh, be a better person and a better version of myself on a daily basis. And so for those who are you coming in, thank you for being here. For those who are returning, welcome back to another episode. I hope you have found value in reminding yourself what gratitude means to your life and, um, and to be able to then share that with the rest of the world. On today's episode, we have my two dear friends, Lisa A. Ramos and Christian Wade. Uh, Lisa is the host of um, is the host of Pizza and Chill uh, podcast, and herself an amazing influencer. And my friend Christian Wade is a running back in the NFL with the Buffalo Bills. So, um, so we're we're excited to have them here. So uh, they're going to come in in a second. And uh, like I said, thank you all for being here. Um, I'm going to put this up and pin. Welcome to Sunday Gratitude. All right. Mary, hello. Vyas Karkari, hello. Greetings and salutations. Happy afternoon. Happy Sunday afternoon to all of you guys. Um, Mary, greetings. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being in Sunday Gratitude. Uh, yep, we got Christian coming up. He's up here. There you go. Let's get him um, get him to join in the fun here because we, uh, we got some surprises for you with both Christian and Lisa coming on. I'm sure everyone's excited for this week's uh, Gratitude Dance. Hello, Par. How are you doing today? <laughs> So this has been a beautiful day up in uh, New York. Um, the sun is glaring outside and things are amazing. Uh, and so we're happy to, um, to have um, finally some sunshine and a cool breeze to go with it. So um, oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you. Make sure to uh, give some hearts. Uh, make sure to press the uh, arrow button over there to share it with everybody else. Uh, Chris, can you go and kind of request... Uh, request to jump, jump in the live. So that'll be great as well. Um, and then you can get you, get you and Lisa come in here. Dio, what's up, brother? We got London in the house. So for anyone that's tuning in, please sign in and let me know where you're coming from and we can show you some love here. Uh, we got a guy, Christian is originally from the UK. So if you're coming from the UK, we're gonna show you some love today. Um, so let us know where you're from and put it down on the little comment section. Please let us know where you're from and then press the arrow right there to share this with everybody else. Uh, so much love to India. We had Dia Mirza last week, the amazing Dia Mirza last week. I was so stoked to have her on Sunday Gratitude and she is such an angel. So we're happy to continue to have my dear friends to come on the show and uh, be able to share what they're grateful for every week. So now we're just waiting for, for Lisa and, um, and Chris to come up. Because uh, we're totally stoked to share what 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 they're uh, what they're grateful for, not just for the week, but maybe exactly for this moment. How's everyone? How is everyone doing, anyways? Um, with everything that's going on. Oh, mi amor, hola, qué tal? <laughs> Hope you're you're uh, enjoying work uh, over there and uh, keeping keeping um, keeping sane with everything that's going on. Um, hey, what's up? What's up, people? What's up? What's going on? Hello, greetings and salutations, and welcome. Welcome to Sunday Gratitude. Rendell Sarduk, welcome. Welcome. Um, hmm. this, is, uh, this is amazing. I think uh, to be able to wake up every day and to be able to remind yourself um, what you're grateful for allows you to immediately affect the change that's happening uh, in your life. And this is something that I personally have been in practice for a long time now. But yes, the science is now catching up to it. And to be able to be grateful and to be able to 
have these thoughts of gratitude allowed you to start your day um, pretty amazing. So let's just uh, wait in for, for Chris and Lisa to come, to come hop on the call um, as our guests for today. Uh, I know you're out there, my friend, and then so I just, just tap in there and send the request to join in. Hi, Marta, how are you doing today? Let us know where you're coming from. Send it down on the comment section right there. Let us know where you're coming from so we can send you some love. I know we got, <clears throat> we got UK in the house, we got India in the house. Um, yes, Par, we have a little bit of a meditation in the beginning as well. Once we kind of gather together, once uh, Chris and I and uh, Lisa, we ended up uh, catching up a little bit and then we're gonna start with the meditation. Sanjeev, hello, greetings. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> also, please share, um, press down on your uh, arrow sign to see, uh, to share this with everybody else. Ah, Portugal, uh, bom dia, bom dia in Portugal. Greetings, hello. Thank you for being here, thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> Yes, Par, I, I am a very positive person and I'm, I'm glad that that resonates with you. <laughs> uh, we're over in New York, uh, here in New York, and we're, we're enjoying the sunshine since summer has finally arrived. So we're totally stoked to be here. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our uh, bom dia, bom dia. <laughs> uh, so we got, we got Portugal in the house, we got India in the house, we got Cuba in the house, we got the UK in the house. Ah, oh, life, life is definitely amazing when, when we can be together and, and go through any kind of challenges, but we do it together. And by doing that, it allows us to continue to be positive. We got David Colvin, my guy Dave, in the house representing the Grasshopper Project. And for all of you who, um, who, who don't know about the Grasshopper Proper Project yet, head over to Grasshopper Proj uh, here on um, IG. Um, and it is uh, my nonprofit, um, is my nonprofit, um, yeah, it's my nonprofit uh, mentorship program. So, uh, and if you are in the health, wellness, and performance industries, uh, please hop on over to the Grass Hour Project, go into the website and, and see what's up. Because if you want to be part of a conscious community that is in the space of uh, the health, wellness and performance world, and obviously would like to become a thought leader and a change maker in this space at some point, we would, we would love to have you. So, oh, Nepal, we got Nepal in the house. Uh, greetings and salutations. <laughs> um, thank, you, thank you for being here and thank you for tuning in. Um, and uh, so what are you guys grateful for today? If you have any thoughts in your head right now, what you're grateful for, just one thing, please drop it on in the comment section and let me know. What are you grateful for today? And I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about that because it is something that you do wanna think about. It is something that you feel that will resonate with you quite well. So, oh, hello my Daybreaker fam, Emily Pillock in the house. My boy Ben in the house. It's a great day to be alive and to be grateful. Um, sending you love, all the fam out there from the Daybreaker fam and everywhere else around the world uh, to the Grasshopper Project fam. Thank you all for being, yes, it's a great day. It's a great day. Uh, for all of you guys who don't know my boy Ben Kenyon, please look him up. He is an amazing man who has amazing energy the same amount of positive energy I have, but like to that ant level. And, um, and he is an amazing person to, to follow. So please follow him. Oh, and here he is, we got, uh, and uh, oh wow, I've been to the beach. Wow, Martha, good for you. We should be all grateful for being able to get to the beach. And yes, having a comfortable life also. Uh, have kakulo, have ka greetings and salutations. Hello, greetings. I love you, man. Ben, so much love to you, brother. Hey! Hi, guys. Greetings Hi. and salutations. <laughs> How's it going, man? Hello, what's up? How are you guys feeling today? We're doing good. We, it took us a little bit of time to get on here. We were having some technical difficulties, but we made it. Okay, well, in the end, you guys are here. And yes. 
and 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 then life begins, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Erwin? Uh, I'm doing great. It's been it's you know I think finally since the sunshine has been coming in and, and arriving, it's allowed for us to kind of be more, I guess, free in a sense. Yes. <laughs> because because now you ask yourself, well, why should I continue to stay inside when I have the ability to just walk outside? And even if it's merely yeah, just simply true. like sitting down outside or you know, getting your blanket and finding a patch of grass. Um, mm -hmm. And it just, it just makes such a difference, you know. Oh, I was in, a huge difference. I know, yeah. I was in the city yesterday and, um, and I, I, I did a, a bro date with one of my buddies that I went to Israel on a leadership trip with. And we were just sat down and we just uh, had a deep dive on, on life in general. And, and it was just so nice to be out. And we were there like at six, and even at nine, the sun was still up. It's, it's been I a, know, it's crazy. It takes forever for the sun to go down and you just have so much more time to enjoy the day. It's really nice. I know, I know. Um, but first, first and foremost, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. I'm so, so, so grateful for, for, for you guys coming in, you know, having so much love. I'm surprised you're not wearing the t-shirts. You know, these, these, those t-shirts were like the bottom. <laughs> well, yeah, those are back. We're actually in um, Queens right now with my family. Oh, but those shirts yeah. are back in Buffalo. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you like the t-shirts, though. I know. There's so much love in those t-shirts, man. It's like it's because yeah. I have those and be able to share those. So we're we'll we'll talk about that a little bit later, um, right. because I want to make sure that you guys share that and, and stuff. Uh, but we w want to make sure officially welcome to Sunday Gratitude. Um, as I explained to you guys earlier, and for those who are new in here. Uh, Sunday Gratitude is the amplified version of the daily gratitude I've been doing for more than four years. It's, it's a yeah. sense for me to be accountable for, for what I'm grateful for and a reminder to help me know that as we wake up every morning that, that we should be, we begin everything in gratitude. And so I decided that instead of me just being accountable for that, you know, I'll have my, my, my good friends and, and family to be part of that, to be able to share what they're grateful for every day. So thank you for being uh, here today on episode eight. You know, <laughs> yep. as I'm building this up, um, you know, and uh, and uh, thank you for being here for today. So a, a little bit, a little bit of a of a hint. We're gonna start first. We're gonna go into a little bit of a check in, and then uh, and then from the check in, I'm gonna go through a couple of questions which I I know I sent you guys earlier already. Yeah. So you yeah. should know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, first first and foremost, for everybody that's just coming in and joining in, please let us know where you're coming from so we can give you some love uh, here on the IG Live, right in the comment section. And then please press that little arrow as well to kind of forward this uh, if you want to share this love throughout this day and particularly because it's a beautiful Sunday outside and why it not is. share the love? It's so Ooh, nice out, yes. I know, like right, even in Queens, I, I bet you look out and you're like, man, this is, yeah. yeah. That vitamin D does the world good. I know, yes, definitely, definitely does the world good. So anyways, uh, so we'll officially start. So the first thing I'd like to do first is um, a little bit of a check-in and the breath work. I call this a take five uh, breath work. It literally is, it takes less than five minutes. And, and all it is is that setting the intention and grounding you for, for what we're going to go through today. So the first thing I'm going to like make you go through as you go through uh, in your head is first think about yourself being a birthday party, you know, Imagine the birthday party you were. Was, was it your grandma's birthday party, or who was, or who was Lisa? Was it your whose birthday party was that last time you guys were there in Queens? Um, uh, it was your grandma's. Oh yes, it was yeah. my grandma's. Yes, yes. Yeah. So imagine being yourself, being at like your grandma's birthday party, mm. having balloons, having birthday cake, having everything everywhere, and and obviously with the support and love of everybody else. And so now, as you're there, uh, to be able to take it all in, you nice, nice, take a nice deep breath. So. So what I'd like to do is like imagine that you're at that party and then the balloons that are surrounding you are actually inside your lungs. So as you take a deep breath and breathe out, these lungs are like the balloons expanding inside, inside, inside of you. So, right. so one key is imagine those balloons being your lungs. Two, mm -hmm. when you breathe in, breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. Mm -hmm. Three, when you breathe out through your mouth, think about blowing the candle just enough that you're flickering it so not necessarily mm. blowing it out. So yeah, yeah. if you were there, uh, not necessarily pushing your grandma off to the side as she blows the candles for her birthday, <laughs> but rather like see her and train her, say, Abuela, don't blow it too hard. Just let it flicker and dance a little like 
that's a little bachata, <laughs> you know, and just do, just do a little of that. So <laughs> yeah, blow yeah, it yeah. just enough to do a little bachata. So, um, mm -hmm. and so, and so you do that. So think about that. So three, think, think things, three things. One, you, the balloons are in your lungs. Two, as you breathe in and out, in your nose and in your mouth. And three, when you breathe out, breathe it just like you're making it flicker. We, we good with that? Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Okay. Next, I want you to take your right hand up, specifically your right hand, up like this. Right now? Yep, right now. Yep, so your right hand. <laughs> you're like, me out of no, the way, later. <laughs> like, Let me push. Sorry. Yes, Par, I do this every Sunday. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then what we do is bring your hand down like you're serving a pizza. That's to chill. In front of you. Oh. you like that? You like that? <laughs> and Love. then I want you to put your left pointer finger into the wrist crease, into your wrist crease like this. Good. And so this time as we breathe in, it's going to take about five seconds to go all the way to your thumb and then breathe out about five seconds to go back to your wrist crease. And we're going to do this for each finger. Okay. All right. So are you guys ready? Yes. Listo? <laughs> All right. All right. Ready. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Now slowly bring your hand to your heart, right on top of your heart. Bring your left hand on top of your right hand. Gently close your eyes if you wish. Just close your eyes real quick. If you'd like to have a soft gaze, keep having a soft gaze looking forward. And just breathe normally. And with your eyes closed and you breathing normally, I just want you to think about the one thing at this exact moment that you're grateful for. Just one. We're not talking about something five minutes ago or when you first woke up in the morning or even what you're thinking about to be grateful for afterwards. Just think about being present. And as you're grounded in this space with your hand and your heart, what is the one thing you're grateful for right now? And if it brings a smile to your face, just smile. And if there's thoughts running through your head and just moving around, allow it to pass because you're trying to search for that one thing. And allow your breath to continue to be normal. Feel that gratitude in your hands as it now goes through your heart and it goes through the rest of your body and resonates through your house, your neighborhood, your city, the country into the world. Just think about that one thing that you're grateful for, for that energy that you're feeling as you bring it out to the rest of the world. And keep on holding that feeling strong. And enjoy the stillness just for a quick minute. And with a smile on your face, and whenever you're ready, gently and slowly open your eyes and rise. Thank you. Chris? <laughs> I was enjoying the moment, man. I love it, brother. I love it. Thank you. Well, that, because, you were deep because, in it. I love because, it. Because uh, I was just mentioning to Lisa before we had this, about an hour ago, I was like, I need to uh, just meditate for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So that was perfect. Well, well, thank you. For, perfect. Thank you for like 
really going in deep with it. That's, uh, yeah, you know, I yeah, think yeah. sometimes we forget, you know, to kind of take that one second or one moment just to take a deep breath and just, just meditate. And I think sometimes people are afraid of the word meditation in general because they feel like they need to go mm. into this 20 minute, 30 minute spiel with their fingers yeah. crossed like this, yeah. with a little incense <laughs> in the air. When, when in fact, literally meditation can be done everywhere. You can literally just be sitting down and just be still. And just by yeah. looking at the tree and by, by listening to the birds, it allows you to stay in the space and be present and allows you to be, be back in this moment. And then mm -hmm. using that breath, if you feel like you're flying all over the place, and that's simply by doing that, you get into a meditative state. And I think people get so far up into making sure this like, it has to be perfect. I'm going to meditate. It has to be this perfect thing. So I can like look like I'm meditating. I was like, but you don't have to look like it, just be it. Yeah. <laughs> so like, just literally just sit there and you'll be fine. So it's so true. Uh, it's so true. I know. So, so with this little check in, and obviously, as you, as you guys uh, got into a space of gratitude, um, what are you grateful for uh, and why? Well, the first thing that came to my mind um, initially when we were doing that um, exercise was just grateful, I guess, for the ability to breathe and, and mm. just to breathe well, because so many people have been suffering from not being able to breathe well with everything that's going on in the world, um, you know, with the illnesses that are circulating. So I was just happy that I'm like, oh, I'm healthy enough and I can do this. And I'm just grateful for that. Just something that I take for granted all the time when I'm like out or when I'm on the phone or when I'm just sleeping i'm like i'm grateful for being for being able to breathe that's I, that's absolutely i think once again i think so many of us forget that when we first wake up in the morning the fact that we were alive and we're breathing is is such a gift already yeah yeah and that's chris huge. how about you for me um the the i guess it's something that's always on my mind and i guess it drives me with everything i do um and it's all centered around family Mm. So just my parents, um, the way that they brought myself and my younger brother up, uh, the principles and the values that they've taught us, that's obviously helped us and shaped us um, as we grew into men. Um, and then even my, my wider family as well. So my mom's brothers and sisters, um, my cousins and uh, nephews and just just the whole just the whole family aspect for me, that's like a huge thing. And I'm very grateful um, that I have a huge like family and a good support network around me. So what what have you guys been doing with the sense of gratitude? Lisa, you're talking about just being able to breathe. And, and, and Chris, as you talked about family, what are you guys doing to share this kind of gratitude you have to the world today? Or just in general, it's not to be today, but in general. I think it's just small reminders, like to myself and to the people I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis to not um, focus on like what we don't have or what we can't do or the bad things or, you know, the bad things that are happening to us or around. There's plenty of that happening around us, but I think we could cut up, cut up in like the small things too, just on a day-to-day. -day. So just reminding, but hey, that, yeah, that's not good. But I mean, we're healthy. The family's healthy. We have people that love you. So I think just like those small reminders and bringing all um, of our blessings into focus I think that's a really big thing because what you focus on, of course, becomes magnified in your in your life and in your mind. So I think that really helps to keep everything. Well, yeah, that's an amazing point. That's an amazing point to to really bring bring it to the forefront. Because yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, if you don't, if you put yourself in positions of focus that are, in a sense, negative or that mm -hmm. change the way you think, then it sense it does. But by mm -hmm. allowing things to focus on something that is more um, that is more relevant and, and allows somebody to thrive, and that's definitely the better direction. And so, and, and Chris, how about you? Now for me, um, just kind of, I know, not that I've grown up with massive privileges, but I feel like being able to have a family and the support network that I have is is a huge privilege. Um, not everyone has that in their life. Um, I've grown up with just one parent or even growing up with no parents um, and maybe not much family so for me it's just about taking all the stuff that I've learned from my parents growing up and um, just trying to uh, help others by teaching them and showing the good examples of how reaching out whenever I can um, and kind of be like a, a, a mentor to um, those around me um, mm.
Can you hear? Can you hear me, Owen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you guys are like crashing in and out. I'm trying to figure out like if you guys are. If I'm sensing it that like the like the sound kind of comes in and out. But I was like, is that just him being dramatic as he talks, or is that actually a technical situation? So I was like, oh, he's trying to be dramatic, or you no, know, it's a technical situation. <laughs> so did you think he just stopped talking? No, no, no. I like he would pause and like he would pause and be like. And then say something, <laughs> and, pause. and I'm like, oh. I go, Chris, are you trying to be eloquent here and be <laughs> some sort of a poet? Oh, no, Perhaps. no, no, no. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> no, that, that, no, that was beautiful, my friend. Yes, I know that's it, it, jammy in and out, but 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 we yeah. we continue to roll with it. You know, you never know with technology nowadays what what yeah. occurs. So. So the, the next question I have is, um, is, is, is fairly simple. Um, one of the most powerful tools in the world of positive psychology is an intervention called the gratitude visit or the gratitude letter. And the reason why it's powerful because it has both a psychological aspect and a social aspect. And as it relates to the degree of change, it changes somebody's life so much more dramatically than anything else that, that you do in the world of positive psychology. So. What it entails is basically you writing a letter, like handwriting a letter to somebody that you're grateful for, putting that in an envelope, walking over to that person and letting that person know that you're going to be reading him or her a letter uh, of gratitude. And the person just has to stand there and just receive. And you open the envelope, read it to that person and Yes, it's uncomfortable, probably, especially if that person is not somebody you know so well. But it's within this discomfort that growth occurs exponentially. So my question for you guys is, if you, each of you, had one person that you were going to write a gratitude letter to, hand deliver it and read it to that person, who would that person be and why? I'm trying to think right now. <laughs> I don't know. I got deep in you guys right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You mean like um, it could be, let's say, uh, God, it's frozen. Can you see it? Now you're officially breaking up. And these are, are the challenges of, of being on the internet, even in 2020, is uh, we might have competition everywhere else. Oh, there you go. Now you're suddenly clear. Uh, can you hear us? But, yeah, now I can. There you go. Okay. Wow. Well, <laughs> so I'm going to wait until you guys get clear again. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so while, while we wait for the airwaves to clear. Can you, can you, can oh, you hear you me? Go. Check your phone. Okay, is that better? We, we took the Wi-Fi off. Check your phone. Um, so I think it was yeah. my the signal when I was just using the cell phone data. So oh, today. there you go. Yeah. Okay. That was so I'm much. Now it's so much clearer. Look at that. That was magical. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, good, yeah. good. Yeah. We need to have. <laughs> oh, that's what, that's much better. Couple of. Uh, okay. I said. I said. I feel like Tilly Riley versus Babyface on the versus TV right now. <laughs> when it's they broke the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good now. I think. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you heard what I was saying, but I said um, in terms of the letter and who we were sending it to, um, would you, would you, uh, are you talking about someone who's kind of been an inspiration to us, maybe like growing up or like a role model? It could be anybody. Who so anybody that you feel would deserve uh, that, that letter of gratitude. And I say this because, and you can do multiple ones, you know, what they've shown yeah. through research is that 
by writing this letter, the degree of change is so great that the feeling of, of love and gratitude stays for more than, for like a month or more than a month. And imagine yeah. all you have to do is write a letter to somebody of gratitude once a month and you will live a well-lived and flourishing life. So, and that's what the, some of the research is saying. So, so it could be really anybody. It could be somebody you're close to. It could be yeah. simply the, um, the, you know, the person outside that's cleaning, cleaning, the, cleaning the grass or, or somebody or your neighbor or somebody you, who is really close to a family member, um, you know, um, somebody back home. It could be anybody. So uh, if you were going to write a letter, who, who would that be and why? And we're continuing to pause. Well, what I probably I, I would write my oh Chris is Chris and Lisa are out. So thank you all for continuing to be here. We're going to try to get them back in. But if I would share, if if I would share, well, first of all, uh, thank you all for continuing to be here. Please write down in your comment section who you think you would send a gratitude letter to if you were given the choice. And let us know where you're from. Uh, we got continue to get love from the UK. Uh, we got continue to get love from, um, from um, India and Nepal. So thank you all for being here and continue to show some love. Um, and uh, so if I were gonna write a letter, I would probably write a letter to my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather was somebody that I didn't really get to know too well. Um, because I was younger when he passed away. But yet the, the inspiration that he's brought into my life um, and through my family's life in general, uh, as it relates to hard work, uh, living the big, you know, dreaming big and being able to achieve what you need to achieve has been something that um, I think he's passed on through the generations through my father and through us and the value of education. I want people forget that how important education is in our life to form the person we are today. And, you know, he definitely valued education and hard work. And, and no matter how challenging life could get, um, being able to be able to pursue those dreams allowed you to continue to be, be strong and fulfill them. So if there was somebody I would send a, a, a gratitude letter to, it would be my grandfather. So um, how about you guys? Please let me know um, on there while we're waiting for um, Chris Wade and Lisa to get back on um, on Sunday gratitude, put down on the comment section right there what you're grateful for, or who that person be would be if you were going to write them a gratitude letter. And let us know where you're from too. And please continue to share uh, on that share button right there to share this uh, event right now with everybody else. It's in case people are, uh, you know, would like a reminder of what gratitude is and uh, what gratitude needs. Oh, okay. It's your parents. Yes. Yes. I hear you. I hear you. The sacrifice is unconditional love. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Um, anybody else? Uh, please let us know where you're coming from. If you're just tuning in, this is Sunday Gratitude with me, E, on a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in New York. Hats in the back, pom-poms in the side, and we got Chris coming back on. You have to think real deep, real deep and thinking of uh, what he needed to, to be grateful for and who that person was going to be. Aha! We're Greetings, back, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties the whole way through. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, go. Ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it ASAP. So I think I just saw someone's comment about um, their parents. Mm. I don't know if they were saying that's who they would write there a little gratitude to, but that's actually what I was going to say also. Um, and I think it's, um, for, for my mum, she's okay. she's definitely been um, the rock of our family um, in terms of she was a very, um, she was very ambitious in terms of what she wanted to achieve in her career. But after having me um, as a baby, um, she soon um, decided to dedicate her life to raising myself and then mm. my younger brother, which was four years later. 
um, and it literally was just a, a housewife uh, and a mum to us for like over 25 years before mm-hmm. she actually started going back to work. Um, and for me, that just shows how dedicated she was to us and making sure that we had the the right upbringing, um, the right teaching, um, values, principles, and I'll forever be um, grateful for her doing that, literally sacrificing her, her whole life pretty much um, just to raise us as kids um, and then growing up into men also. Thank you for saying that, Chris. To your mom. Yeah. To your mom. To Lisa, my mom. how about you? Arlene. Arlene Wade. Arlene Wade. Yes. Big ups to Arlene Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the best. You don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I can't think of so many people, but I, I, I guess I would just have to write one letter a month to like everyone in my immediate family, like starting with like my mom and my and each of my sisters because they've both like shown so much like unconditional love towards me and just never made me feel like I couldn't come to them. It's just such, I know I, I hear a lot of people talking about their family and there's like a little drama or like they don't feel accepted or they don't feel like they belong or they feel kind of shunned sometimes. And I've literally never felt that. Like I didn't, I trust anyone in my family with like anything that I need. I, I would trust them with like, I don't know. I can't even think of something, but I guess I would have to start there. So there. But I'm just really lucky. Yeah. Well, that's a challenge for both of you guys to, to write a letter of gratitude to at least one member of your family after this call ends, um, to then remind you guys and make sure that you write, use your hand, not just writing an email or putting it on yeah, yeah. On, on, a, on an Instagram <laughs> post or putting it on like a little text message yeah. because the, the research has shown that you actually, by physically holding a pen and putting it into words, writing, it allows a different set of systems near, near, you know, um, neuroscientifically wise. So, so that's, mm-hmm. and, and so that's a challenge for both you guys that after this call is to, to get a little piece of paper and you're probably like, is there even pieces of paper around anymore? <laughs> I don't even know what my handwriting looks like. That's true. Exactly. I don't know what my handwriting looks like. So write, get, get a piece of paper and, and write it down and, then, and, and hold that. And if you want to save it for a special occasion, save it. But, but I think sometimes you just need to jump. And, 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 and as with both of you and your lives, it's about just like yeah. just, just doing it and then seeing how that, how that feels. And remember, the key thing about that is as you give this letter and read it to, to the person you're giving it to, is for them just to like, hold space and just accept it and receive it. I think a lot of times, particularly when it comes to family, we like to react right away and they're like, oh yeah, thanks, thanks, no, that's awesome, no, thank you as well. They're like, no. Oh, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. You don't have to write that. that was- <laughs> <laughs> stay now, just like stay yeah. there, stay there and just listen. I just want to say thank you and I have a letter to, to, to tell you about it. And they'll be yeah. like, there's going to be like, oh, there's going to be this weird feeling, but from this <laughs> feeling comes, from, comes the growth, so. Comes this yeah, feeling, yeah. comes to grow. So, that's special, um, that's so thank special. you. So thank you. Thank you both for sharing that. Um, so what? What the? What is the one thing that you're both working on right now, either together or separately? Um, I'm personally working mm. on just um, being present and not projecting like any anxieties um, into the future about you know anything because most of the things you worry about end up not happening anyway. Mm. So, just staying like where I am now and not um, worrying about things that could possibly happen. And then also not living in the past and mm. dwelling on things that already have happened. Cause I mean, none of that really exists. Like we're here now and what you're worrying about might never happen. So that's not even real. It's not even a thing. And then the past is already done. So to me, it's just like being present and not being anxious about the future or past. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Um, you know, yesterday, yesterday I, I went to my first ever virtual wedding um wow. it was very fascinating and one of those things that i think a good friends of mine uh they they i guess they've been planning a wedding and they didn't wasn't really sure with covid or what to do and and literally we got a text message me and a group of friends of mine we got a text message at like uh, at like maybe noon and said hey guys i'm tying the knot under the chupa uh on the, wow. and I'm, 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 I'm tying the knot and we're doing it virtually so show up on this zoom call at 10 30 p.m eastern <laughs> so i was like okay <laughs> i was That's like talk about being present it's like let's do this you know so, yeah here yeah, now yeah. uh but crazy anyway uh chris please share share what, what you're working on right now so um right now i'm just working on um i'm actually working on a few a few different things
pausing. <laughs> We're pausing again. And it ironically always happens when Chris is about to talk. So once again, the question is whether or not he's doing this as a uh, orator to slowly allow for the accent to come up nicely, or if this is really a technical situation. And yes, Par, uh, I do a daily gratitude uh, just by putting gratitude, but Sundays is when I do this. So um, th thank you for the asking, asking that question. So um, Daryl, um, yep, good idea. Yeah, the, you know, nowadays it's harder to get a handwritten letter. And imagine when you ask somebody for a postcard, it is, it is one of those harder things to receive or even give because you don't even know if you have a stamp you don't know if the person lives anywhere because so many people are nomads nowadays. But to be able to receive a letter or even a postcard that's handwritten is such an effort and such a gift. So I think writing this letter would be, would be such, a, such a gift. To, to all who is out there, um, Sam, NF Puma, uh, Daryl, Elliot, Cooper, Adam. Uh, yes, Kristen, it's a Teddy Riley thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for continuing to be here um, and be patient with obviously the technical situations that are going on, but this is the world we live in and uh, we can't control it. All we can control is our attitude and our effort. Vikas, what's going on, brother? Tell us where you're coming from. Show us some love. Let us know. We got India. We got the UK in the house. We got Nepal in the house. We got Cuba in the house. Um, um, and we got everybody else from everywhere else. We, um, so thank you all for being here continuously. Uh, we're going to wait for a couple more minutes uh, for Chris to come back and uh, finish off uh, the rest of this Sunday gratitude. Uh, and Par, I wasn't quite sure of the question that you were asking. Um, if it has to do with doing this every day, yes, I do a daily gratitude every day but not a IG live Sunday credit that that's only on Sundays. So, um, but thank you for asking that. I'm, thank you for the support and the love for this. So, um, Adam Smiley, yes. Tell him I said it is, is a Teddy Riley thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely Teddy Riley vibes that's going on when you're able to break the internet or break Instagram uh, just by doing a Sunday gratitude. So this is uh, an exciting, exciting, um, time so but we'll get a couple more minutes to see whether or not um for that chris and lisa come back um, um but thank thank you for the love please let us know where you all coming from as well and continue to show the love uh, and let, let us know down and put in your comment section right there what who would be the person you would write a gratitude letter to if you had a choice and if you were going to write a letter or a postcard to whoever it is who would you handwrite that to and who would you send it to and why? Uh, put it down on the comment section, please, and share that with us. Uh, and also continue to share, um, pressing that arrow button, uh, if you could, to share. We've got a couple more minutes here. We've gone a little bit of overtime, but, uh, but we, this last part is the probably one of the most exciting parts of Sunday Gratitude. So we want to make sure we try to get uh, Chris and Lisa back here for the much anticipated gratitude dance. Uh, so it's just a little reminder of, for all of us of what we're grateful for. So every time we do this dance, it allows us to heighten our positive emotion and in turn allow us to, to, to bring this happiness uh, and this positive vibes everywhere we go. So, and in this past couple of weeks, we've had anywhere from the Sancocho dance from my friends from Island Touch to the swing and shake from my girl professional golfer and champion, uh, Lydia Ko, to the snap, snap, clap, clap, shake, shake from my friend Dia Mirza from India. So there's a varied amount of gratitude dances. And this one right here is the one that I am excited to, to check in with both Lisa and, um, both Lisa and Chris, if they get back on, barring technical difficulties. But if not, then we shall continue 
the gratitude dance that Dia Mirza did last week, which was the snap, 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 clap, 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 shake, shake, shake. Apparently, it's one of the one of the dances that they teach kids as a little bit of a rhyme uh, at schools. So, um, <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if there's something different. Here we go. And we'll get Chris to get back on here. Hopefully, the internet uh, in Queens continues to be alive. Hey, guys! We're back. We're back. Again, <laughs> you already know the deal, so I don't have to tell you what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So, so before, before, so that before it starts getting kind of crazy again, the last part, the, the probably most exciting part of Sunday gratitude is the gratitude dance for the week. And I know I, I've sneaked into you guys and I've told you guys this is going to happen. So I've had anywhere from my friends from Island Touch, which was one of the top like bachata academies in the world. They did this thing like they, I called it the cabbage patch, but they did it like the Dominican way. And they still called it the Sancocho dance. They're doing the Sancocho <laughs> dance. They're doing the Sancocho <laughs> dance. And then my friend uh, Dia Mirza last week from India, this mm. Bollywood actress, she did something that the kids do. They're like, snap, 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 clap, 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 shake, shake, shake. I was like, okay. oh, okay. I've seen so, that one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I had Lydia Ko, who was the, one of the, the, the well, was form, the former number one golfer in the world. She did like, she did a swing, like a golf swing, and then shake. So, yeah. What is your gratitude dance? And I, I use this because gratitude is like, it's just a reminder for yourself. It's like, it holds you accountable. So then you think of the, this dance, music comes in, you think of this dance, you're like, okay, did I, did I, am I grateful for something today? Did I remind myself what I'm grateful for today? So what is your gratitude dance? Um, my gratitude dance, not, it's not even a dance and I'm not a dancer and I'm not a good dancer, but um, something I do when I'm happy or when I'm grateful for something or when I get good news is I just like go like this. <laughs> Oh, oh! Like I should, yeah. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stand up. It's like a little one. victory yeah. dance. Yeah. I can't stand. I can't. Show, actually... show, show him the dance. What is, what is it? It's like no, nah, just, you just like... yeah. You just go like that. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Ah, it's yours, yours. I don't really have like. Yeah, he does. He does. Was it then? Come on, I know you do. It, he was doing it yesterday. Probably also like a touchdown dance or something like that, right? What is that? Touchdown dance. Um, it's that thing with your arms in front where you're like, What's that? <laughs> you oh, you yeah, know what I'm, I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't be shy that. about it. Come on, Chris. I've been doing, I've been doing that lately. Yeah. Kind of like a... What? What thing? Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know. You're <laughs> <laughs> trying to be all shy and everything. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Then he busts out. No, and what, what do you mean? Oh. And he's like, Oh, that thing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know what it is. I think I've probably got a few different ones, but that's late. Lately, that's the one I've been doing quite a lot. That's the one. That's 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 the new stuff. Huh? Uh huh. That's the one. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's been up to before. Well, amazing, amazing. Well, well, thank you for sharing the. So, if you combine it for both of you, you need to just combine it. Then, so does this go first or? This, this, and then this. Yeah. Yeah. Just, first, yeah. This, first. this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta go. Mm, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Erwin, not what? everyone's a professional dancer like you. Okay? <laughs> not everyone can dance like you. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just moving. I'm just, I'm just moving. You know. <laughs> I'm just a little something you're throwing out here. Just a little something, something. Yeah, just to move out. You know, just to. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, well, thank you guys uh, for, for really coming up and showing up through despite the technical difficulties. Is there anything else you want to share with everybody as it relates to gratitude uh, today? I think um, even I think something that really helps me um, remain grateful is trying to find um, a positive aspect of every situation and always thinking that it's going to lead to something better and it's happening for a reason. So I'm like, okay, this delay is actually saving me for, from something or keeping me from something or leading me to something. So I just remain grateful for basically everything that happens. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And for me, um, like growing, growing up in the church and um, being a follower of Christ, um, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Amen. So I've never... Um, I don't necessarily get caught up on when things uh, seem bad because it's happened that way for a reason because I believe that there's something else to come. Um, and I also believe that there's a time for everything also. So I don't necessarily believe in like issues and problems, I always just believe in solutions. And I always know that um, this is happening 
um, in a way because it's setting me up for something else to come mm. that's going to be uh, a lot more beneficial. So I kind of try to remain in a, in a sense of gratitude all the time and always just looking for positives, like uh, Lisa said here. Yeah, and I think um, one thing that I have to remember is that nothing happens to me, everything happens for me. And like he said, mm. if you believe that God is in control, then he's orchestrating everything to happen when it's supposed to happen, how it's supposed to happen. So nothing happens to us, everything happens for us. Oh, so, yeah, everything happens for us. Yes. And, and on, on that note, that's a beautiful note to, to end with. Lisa and Chris, thank you very much for, for being part of Sunday Gratitude, for showing up this morning, despite the slow technical situations, which for a second I thought it was just like dramatic for Chris to speak in his British accent and orate and something, and then suddenly do the yes, 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 you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> nah, it was, it, was a, it was a pleasure to uh, be on the show with you this week, yes. man. And, um, um, I was a bit embarrassed about the, the Teddy Riley um, technical difficulties versus situation. baby face versus technical difficulty, di difficulties. What was um, now I can't speak. But yeah, my, my yeah, see, see, so it was definitely that was definitely a technical situation. It wasn't you, actually. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. And then my, my I don't know if you saw the comments from my little brother. He was yeah. He was on there as well. Yeah, my brother's like, is a Teddy Riley thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thank you very much for, for, for showing up for me and for everyone else as well and, and sharing what you're grateful for for the week. Remember, everyone, let's, let's not forget that this week's move is the uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so ask yourself when you wake up every morning, what am I grateful for? And on that note, thank you all for being here. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>